What's up guys, it's Tyler from the Aquatic Journal. Today's gonna be a quick video on how you make spawning maps, which you can see them right here in this tank here. So I made two different versions. It's pretty simple. It only required yarn, a cork, and a book basically. So a pretty cheap project and a pretty easy way to breed some fish, which I'll explain more later. So if you like this video, please let me know and I hope you enjoy. I hope this helps some of you with your breeding projects. For those of you that aren't familiar, spawning maps are helpful for fish that are egg scatters, but also lay adhesive eggs. So some fish that are egg scatters don't lay adhesive eggs. Spawning maps doesn't really work because they won't hold the eggs in, but like tetras, some barbs, some danios, um, the fricata rainbows, for example, that I have outside, all of those lay adhesive eggs. So you basically will just plop this in the tank um, they'll spawn in the spawning mop, the eggs will stick to the spawning mop, and you can just pull the mop out and then put that in its own individual tank um, for raising the fry. So it should be a pretty simple process. Making them is super easy. So I'm gonna try it out with some of my fish that do lay adhesive eggs and see if I can pull some out, especially some that are in my community tanks and see if I can get some fry out of them. So hope this helps some of you. If you do use this video and you do get some fish spawned, I wanna see them. So make sure to comment below or you can send me a message on Instagram as well, and I'd love to see what you did. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you. Check out some of my other videos, but thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.